Hello everybody, Shimmer here, and today I'll be telling you all you need to know about the Orsinium Celebration event, which is an in-game festival coming to Elder Scrolls Online. As always, there will be time links in the About section and in the comments below, so let's get to it. In order to access the Orsinium Celebration event, you will first need to own the Orsinium DLC or be an ESO Plus member in order to access the zone. The Orsinium DLC will be on sale for 60% off throughout the duration of the event in the Crown Store. The DLC Game Pack will include access to the Rothgar Zone and Story as well as the Maelstrom Arena, which is a solo arena dungeon. Additionally, you will be able to pick up the Pariah's Pinnacle Home, both furnished and unfurnished, at a discount. If you'd like to see a tour of the Pariah's Pinnacle House, you can view that by clicking here. As you can see, this was my first home I ever purchased in Elder Scrolls, and this is what I did with it. I put a giant flipping Christmas tree in my living room. If you are already an ESO Plus member, you can acquire the Arsinium's Collector's Bundle at 60% off during the event as well. This bundle will include the DLC Game Pack in addition to the Cave Bear Mount, a Cave Bear Cub Pet, and five Crown Experience Scrolls. During the event, you can earn the following bonus rewards when adventuring in Rothgar. Double items harvested from crafting nodes. Now this will include jewelry seams, but will not include nodes spawned from survey reports. Double the rewards received from chests and maelstrom arena for both veteran and normal difficulties. This will include transmute crystals and maelstrom weapons. Double the number of reward boxes received by completing Rothgar daily quests, and they've also added some new rewards exclusive to this event, such as Maelstrom Weapon Outfit Styles and Orsinium Furnishings. During the event, if you finish Maelstrom Arena, you will have the chance to receive a Maelstrom Weapon Outfit Style page. This is not guaranteed on a normal Maelstrom Arena run, but if you complete it on Veteran, you are guaranteed a style page. This is a good time to try it out and see if you have what it takes, but keep in mind Veteran Maelstrom Arena is some of the most difficult content in the game and is almost guaranteed to make you rage. These pages are tradable, and should you not be able to complete Maelstrom, these pages will be available on the Impresario for five event tickets each, and you're likely also going to see these pop up on Guild Vendors. The Impresario is a vendor that appears in the event tent outside of the cities of Daggerfall, Vocal Guard or Davin's Watch during in-game events. After an in-game event ends, the Impresario will disappear only to reappear during the next in-game event. She will be active throughout the Orsinium Celebration event and carry these Maelstrom Weapon Outfit Style pages, along with the feathers needed to make a nascent Indric mount and the berries needed to evolve it. For this third quarter, the Indric evolution is the on Onyx Indric, and you will need one of each of the Onyx Berries in order to evolve your nascent Indric mount. You will only be able to get these Onyx Berries during this quarter, and once the quarter is over, you will no longer be able to get them. These berries will unlock one berry at a time during four in-game events. This is the second event, so it will unlock the second berry, and it will also have the berry that was available during the first event on the vendor. Do not purchase more than one of each type of berry. This will do nothing for you. <laughs> you will need one of each of the four unique berries as they unlock. You will always be able to get the feathers regardless of the event. It is only the berries that will disappear after this quarter is over. If the look is important to you, then prioritize getting the berries first. I've completed a guide on the Indric Mount and how to obtain and evolve it, and it can be viewed by clicking here. I know it gets very confusing, but this guide uh, it definitely will explain it all to you. The Impresario's goods will, can only be purchased by using a currency called Event Tickets. Now, these Event Tickets are only earnable by completing certain tasks during in-game events. The amount awarded per day varies by event, but during the Orsinium Celebration event, you can earn a maximum of two Event Tickets per day per account. You can also purchase event tickets from the Crown Store at 250 crowns for each event ticket. This is very expensive and not really recommended unless you absolutely need to. You can earn event tickets for the following activities. The Rothgar Delph Daily or the Rothgar World Boss Daily. You will receive two maximum event tickets per day per account upon turning in the first daily. You can choose whether to do the Delve or Boss Daily, but either will give you the maximum of two event tickets per day per account. You can earn a total of 24 event tickets during the Orsinium event. 
The Delve dailies are pretty straightforward, and these quests will send you to one of six delves in Rothgar. They are given by Gurazug and Morkel Stronghold, and only one can be picked up per character per day. The rest can be shared, so keep an eye out on group ch- or on zone chat. Group boss dailies will send you to one of the six group bosses in Rothgar. They are given by Arzarag in Skylar's Hostel. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounce that. <laughs> um, and this is just outside of Orsinium. It is possible for a particular character com- to complete all six of these quests in a day, much like the Delve dailies. But Arzarag will only offer one quest of the six. To get the other five, you must group up with other players and ask them to share the quests. Again, you will be receiving double rewards for completing these quests, but only receiving the two maximum daily event tickets for your first daily turn in per account. You can do all 12 quests, the six delve, and the six rogue bot bosses by just getting a group with someone who has gotten one of the dailies you haven't and sharing it with you. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed or if it helped you out any. Um, But what is your favorite part of Orsinium? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in Tamriel. Bye!